Well, you know, you get up in the morning and, uh, and, and you, you start your day, you know, and, uh, and you get up and you, and you get moving and you, you know, get yourself ready. And I get in the car and I drive down and I uh, work out every day. And that, and that is really good for me emotionally as well as physically because it lets me kind of get my day going. It makes me get a little bit of normalcy to my life. Well, you have good days and bad days. You know, some days you're, you're so beat up physically through the chemo and all the treatments that it's hard just to get out of bed and move around. It's one of those things that it's, it's a mental thing. You gotta just say, I'm gonna do it, and you do it. Backwards, go! Turn! Good, Bucky, that a boy. That a boy, we keep those feet alive. Good, good boy. Good boy, who is that, David? Good job, David. You know, athletes, uh, really don't want to know, uh, really don't care how much the coach knows. What they want to know is how much he cares. Now make sure you're focused today on everything, okay? If you need any help, grab me. Okay, and you're getting reps at that tight end, right? And did you get all your schoolwork, yeah, all I that did. done? Good. Just keep, keep those grades up, and anything you need, just give me a yell. Okay. Okay. He's an extremely caring person. He makes them feel a big part of the program because they are the program, he treats them uh, positively. That's good, and ask, always ask guys, always ask because because we want to get that done. And I've been short with you two. You two, you two have not had the reps you needed and that's, that's my fault, so I've been short. So if you have any questions, you ask, okay? Don't be afraid to ask, okay? You know me, I might get a little like I'm, like I'm upset, but I'm not. Just make sure you ask, because today is the day we get everything cleaned up. Then tomorrow is just, you know, working through things and Thursday's game day. Well, it's like anything else. It's a, it's a way of life. You know, if, if discipline and, uh, and, and just, you know, the want to is, is you, you, you incorporate that in your living, you incorporate that into who you are, and, and you just got to go through it. I'm ashamed to admit it, but you know, I told them the other day when he, when Coach was at a, a chemo session, and I was in charge of practice at the end, and and one of the kids did come up to me and, and said, Coach, my arm hurts, and and just without thinking, I said, Well, you know what? How how do you feel, Coach feels today? You know, and I shouldn't have said it, but you know, he looked at me and said, You know, right? You're you're right. You know, I, I can play through this. There's a lot of people have it worse than I do. I, I see it every, every time I go into treatment and chemo, there's a lot of people have it worse than me. So I'm very thankful that I'm able to get up and move around and do some things. Okay, let's go, let's go. Lots of enthusiasm now, let's go. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. Now, come on, keep the positive attitude. Well, it's, it's made me a lot, lot more appreciative of what I have. You know, I, I've been married 32 years and I've got four healthy children, I got grandchildren, I got grandchildren on the way. Uh, you know, it's, uh, uh, I, I've got so many good things. I've got friends and, and people that love me and care about me. And, and th those things are always a sense of strength. Those things are always things that are great motivators uh, for us to move along. And, and the thing is, you, you just can't give up. You can't give up. You just got to keep going, keep plugging, and make every day count. You look for something good and be thankful for having that day.